Hey guys, welcome to another Thursday edition of the Vinyl Den, your channel for record collecting by record collectors. My name is Nick, and it's another solo Thursday, so I'm here all by myself. Uh, Ian will be back this uh, this Sunday, so come check out the show. This week we're going to be talking about uh, something we talked about on our podcast a while back, which if you haven't checked it out yet, it's called the Life in General Podcast. Uh, I think it was sometime last year, Ian and I talked about a company out of, uh, uh, out of Europe that's doing HD vinyl. And so we're going to kind of give an update on what that exactly is and how they're coming along in that process. So uh, it, it, I'll, I'll drop a link down below. You can check out that, uh, that podcast and uh, you know, come check out the show this Sunday. Today I want to let you know about uh, two kind of interesting things I found on the internet the last couple of weeks. The first is, of course, most people know Rhino Entertainment. They're a record label that's been around since the late, late 70s. But they've got a, a new service. I don't know how new it is, but they've got a service called Rhino Insider. And uh, I'll drop a link down below for that also to go and check that out. And the kind of the cool thing is with that, if you go through and watch certain videos or listen to certain podcasts, you collect points. And through this point system, they have, uh, you know, different things you can redeem those points for. I know one is a, uh, a Woodstock, a pretty cool looking Woodstock box set that you can do. I think it's like 15,000 points. But the one that uh, I was kind of interested in is if you're someone out there that's looking for to kind of upgrade your turntable, they have an option where if you get 20,000 points, you're able to redeem those points for a, it's a basic, but it's a, a basic U-turn turntable, which is kind of a cool turn turntable. If you haven't checked those out, I know they're pretty popular. Um, I'm on a U-turn uh, group on Facebook, even though I don't have one yet. But uh, they're, I've always liked I've liked them for the last I don't know, year, year and a half or so. I've been kind of checking them out, and their their basic turntables are still pretty solid tables. I know um, Frank from Channel Thirty Three RPM demoed one. Uh, I think it was last month or within the last couple of months he demoed one. And uh, was actually pretty surprised at the at how, how the the quality of the turntable for kind of a cheaper price. I think the the basic turntable I think starts out under two hundred dollars. The second thing is, so I, I'm on a couple of different vinyl Facebook groups, and I was on one I don't know probably a week back, and someone was talking about a website called You Discover Music. That's the letter U discover music and it's one that i think i've seen in passing but never really looked at so they they apparently they have free records on there sometimes and generally the shipping is kind of pricey it's about ten dollars a record which i guess kind of makes up for the kind of the, the cost involved and they have a lot of other different records on there too box sets you know general stuff that you'll see in a lot of different stores they've got on there. And, you know, so I'm not sure how often they do it, but the last couple of weeks they've had, I don't know what it was, you know, five, eight, 10 different records that were free on their website. And like I said, generally you would have to pay shipping on those to kind of, and that's probably where they kind of recoup a lot of that cost. But for 4th of July, they're running a special where it was free shipping. So... I went ahead and ordered some. So I'm not sure anything about these. I, obviously, I haven't heard anything about how they sound yet or what kind of pressing they are. Um, but I'm going to open these up and, and, and check them out. I will say that they, the, the, the packaging is, was not the best on it. I know this corner looks a little bent. So hopefully they're in decent shape, but we'll see. I mean, I didn't pay anything for them, but obviously I don't want to have anything destroyed and I'll drop a link down below you guys can check the check out the website I know there's they're not doing the free shipping anymore but I know that uh, the albums that I have here are still free on the website you would just have to pay ten dollars shipping and handling so if you're looking for one of them it's not a bad uh, it's not a bad deal ten bucks for an album you can't you can't beat it So it's kind of a kind of a standard uh, a standard packaging box. I will say that uh, Amazon probably ships theirs. At least the stuff I've ordered from Amazon are pretty pretty good. The way that they ship them, uh, 
you know if you're if you're someone that's leery about ordering albums through you know through you know ordering through the mail or or mm-hmm. online amazon's uh even though i i always try to say you know support your local stores obviously uh, but uh it, it, don't be leery about ordering things at least from from amazon because they are uh the package is probably the best um of like big box companies i know that uh if you're gonna buy from a from a dealer, they're probably gonna package them probably even better than that, but they probably take a little bit better care. So the first one I got here, this is a Bob Seeger, Night Moves. I have a uh, an original pressing of this, so this is it's a great album. I was uh, so 2015 pressing, so it's a, obviously a newer pressing. Uh, it's uh, Definitely when I was like, hey, I'll take a free copy of that for free, you know? I mean, a, a new copy of that for free, I should say. This was the one that actually got me on this website was someone posted on there and said, hey, if you like Appetite for Destruction, if you like Guns N' Roses, you can get a free copy of it. So and this one kind of drew me to the site. And I will say that even though the corner of that box was bent, I don't see any, there's no bending or creasing on these albums. So that's, that's good. But uh, so yeah, if you're, a fan of Guns N' Roses, some some great 80s metal here, or, or hard rock. I don't know if they're really metal. I guess 80s metal, I think more Metallica, but this is like the end of hair, the hair bands era, you know, 87, 88. But if you don't have this album, you definitely can go on uh, on shop, uh, shop You Discover Music. 10 bucks shipping, the album's free. But uh, I already have, I've got an original pressing of the rape scene i do have the uh, anniversary edition that they released i think two years two or three years back i've got that also so i'll add this to the collection i got uh, this was one i've never heard this album it's frank frank sinatra a swing and affair i don't think i've ever heard this album I'm not sure any of the songs on it but i was like hey it's free why not take it um yeah it's got some decent songs on here that i have heard before but uh, Swing of Air by Frank Sinatra. And then this last one, I'm not a, I'm not a fan of her music, but uh, because it was free, I'll check it out. Why not? It's, uh, I'm, always, I'm one of those people that are always looking for a different kind of music, trying to expand my musical horizons. So uh, this is uh, Revival by Selena Gomez. I didn't pay anything for it. I'll check it out. Why not? But uh, if you're a, uh, like, like I said, if you're a fan of any of those albums and you're looking for any of them, they're not doing the free shipping anymore. It's I want to say it's $10 an album, which still isn't bad, but I'm definitely going to check out this website uh, maybe next month, next, next couple of months to see if they change what they have for free on there. I know they had more than, than these four, but a lot of them already, all the other ones already sold out. I think there were two Justin Bieber albums that were free. They were Justin Bieber albums, so I left them on the shelf. <laughs> but uh, it's uh, it's cool. Definitely check out the website. I'll, like I said, I'll drop a link down below for that and for the uh, Rhino, Cider, Rhino, Rhino Insider uh, website. Definitely check both of those out. Those are both pretty cool services. I was hoping to have one more thing for you guys today. I had uh, pre-ordered a couple of weeks ago a, uh, a, a repressing of Turn the Radio Off by Real Big Fish. A great ska album from the 90s, probably one of my favorite ska albums of all time. And that uh, I thought I'd have it by now to do this episode, but uh, of course with the pandemic and everything going on, there's been some shipping delays. If you're somebody that buys albums online, you're probably used to it by now. It's been going on for a couple of months, but uh, I'm, I should have it this weekend. If you follow me on Instagram at Nick Fowler 11, or if you check out the, uh, the vinyl Den Facebook page, I'm going to put posts. I'll put pictures up on both of those sites. When I finally get that looks like it's going to be a pretty sweet looking, uh, pressing. It's got a lithograph, nice trans translucent, uh, color. looks pretty cool, but, uh, well, hopefully it does. I'll, uh, like I said, I'll post pictures of that when I get that. Well, that's all I got for today, guys. Thanks for coming and checking out the show. Come back on Sunday and check out the the big show with Ian and I. Like I said earlier, we're going to be talking about HD vinyl and what exactly that is and the service that they're trying to provide to the the record industry. Check out both of those links down below. 
I haven't gone through either one of those with, with great detail. So there's other things I might be missing uh, that uh, might be pretty cool on, the, on those sites. If there is, go ahead and hit me up and let me know. Uh, if you liked the episode, give me a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button down below. Share us on social media. And if you haven't done so yet, go ahead and check out the, uh, the Final Den Facebook page. I, uh, we're trying to put some interesting stuff on there too. But uh, that's all I got. Until next time, keep on spinning. Peace.